el sujeto para hoy día es Neil Oliver y bueno ya, ya van a escuchar quién es un documentalista <ríe> ya yeah. uh, pero voy a usar otra imagen donde él sale un poco más molesto en una entrevista con la, en la tele entonces tal vez esta me va a dar más <ríe> captura mejor la, la, la personalidad que quiero este video es corto son 17 minutos yo por si acaso me estoy poniendo un límite de 30 así que eh, arranca el tiempo pero vamos a tratar de terminar en 17 y bueno, I can, I can remember. vamos a tener algo de fondo de su nos va a acompañar un poco de sus opiniones de fondo tiempo corre, pero, pero mi, mi setup no está listo. Así, así. Sale. Ahí más o menos. Se ve, se ve. Ok, play, you can remember. Years ago, and a lot of years ago, when I, I probably, if mm -hmm. I considered myself mm -hmm. politically motivated at all, mm -hmm. maybe back in university days. I, I probably liked to imagine myself as having a green agenda. Creo que voy a comenzar. No sé. Pero en este caso voy a comenzar por la nariz y los ojos. Creo. Por la nariz. Este detalle de la nariz. Siempre tengo mucho miedo de comenzar. Y tal vez no me va a salir. Pero ya no importa. Vamos a lo macho. 17 minutos nomás. Una línea muy macha. creo que la malogré, no importa. Como dije, a veces Así, cuando acelero las cosas, por lo general, bueno, uno comete más errores, pero también ya una vez que has malogrado el papel, solo te queda ir para adelante, más o menos. Es, no sé si es una buena... <ríe> no sé si es una buena filosofía. No sé si... Bueno, hay que tratar de ir conscientemente. Pero sí, quiero... Quiero poco a poco ir haciéndolos más rápido, más, ¿cómo diríamos? Que sean más emocionales estos dibujos, más que es así cosas muy calculadas. Cuando algo es muy calculado, yo lo siento menos sincero. La vez pasada no lo supe decir, creo que la palabra es sincero. Acá, por ejemplo, bueno, la malogré, pero ya, pero fue un error honesto. A veces esto tenga que ir más como ta 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 por acá. Depende del tamaño que lo quiero hacer. Esta nariz también es un poco corta. Está bien. La cosa es seguir fluyendo. Tal vez tenga que volverlo a hacer si es que no me queda bien. Tengo que volverlo a hacer. Bueno, la idea es que escuchen a este man, no a mí. Mira la nariz, la molestia, se le abre la nariz, en hebreo, en ojo de narices grandes, mira. Vamos, tinta. Mira, me gustaba hacerlo más grande. No, hay, hay errores que no puedo volver a corregir. Y en la vida, cuando te preocupas del ambiente, creo que viene. Creo que es algo que viene. Creo que es algo que viene. Creo que es algo ¿Cómo se te enduras, no es que no te interese el medio ambiente. Bueno, 
Creo que es mejor comenzar por los ojos, más que... No sé. Debe haber comenzado por el ojo. Bueno, no, no importa, no hay de mí. Vamos a probar. No, se va a es lo que es? Bueno, acá no veo ninguna esencia de Neil Oliver ni de nada. Esto está muy genérico. Muy, muy genérico. Es un ojo cualquiera, una nariz cualquiera, un todo cualquiera. Creo... Estoy molesto. <risa> no molesto, mira. Esto debe estar más arriba o la nariz debe estar más abajo. He comenzado por el ojo. Vamos a ver qué se puede hacer con lo que hay. No, no debo molestarme, pero solo digo como... No, no es... No es lo, no es lo ideal. No es la situación ideal. Pero vamos a ver, vamos a ver cómo queda. Hasta ahora tengo que entrar en el, en el personaje. Sentir su... Es que esta imagen no, está, no va con este video. En este video está mucho más calmado. Entonces no captura eso. Hungrier, smaller lives. Mm, yes, That's yes, what yes. Agenda 2030 boils down to. And, and to add insult to injury, to rub salt into the wounds, uh, the, the priestly class that preaches Agenda 2030 are doing so from their private jets as they flit around the planet, coming together in Davos and wherever else they like to foregather. So that they can lecture we the proles about what we should do without, you know, while they continue to live. Me va a dar vergüenza postear esto. High protein, high altitude, mile high lives. Uh, and I'm infuriated by it. The candidates for the leadership of the Tory party are at it as well. You know, the uh, at this at this moment in time, uh, you know, it's down to Rishi Sunak or, or Liz Truss. Um, I don't care which one of them wins. I think it's irrelevant which one of them comes to the fore. I don't believe, as I've said before, I don't believe meaningful decisions are made in Westminster. I think what we get from Westminster is a is a script delivered by bad actors, written elsewhere. Uh, you know, so that we're 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 watching a puppet show, Punch and Judy, it's meaningless. Who who takes that that top job? But there they are, uh, all of the candidates, you know, before and after whatever stage of the contest we're actually at by the time you listen to this. Uh, you know, they're, 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 some of them make mealy-mouthed qualification uh, around the green levy and, and, you know, and, they, and they make, uh, they, they offer platitudes about how we the people and businesses, you know, have to be given a soft landing as far as possible. As the, as the green agenda goes ahead, but none of them are talking about undoing it. So it's just more of the same nonsense that will destroy communities, destroy our society, uh, and, and ultimately destroy lives. Um, the, as far as I'm concerned, the green agenda needs to be gone in, in its present iteration. It's not green anyway. It's hiding behind a cloak of green. Uh, you know, renewable energy. We've been sold a pop there, wind farms and solar farms. Um, you know, I mean, where to begin? Where, where, where to begin in, in contemplating the hypocrisy of all of that? Sites for, for wind farms, sites for solar farms, take your pick, but they've all to be cleared of all life. Before anything is built, before they start pouring the concrete, the great mass cubes of concrete that will hold the turbines upright or before they or before they set the 
the acres of solar panels in place. The sites are cleared of all life. Notionally, the creatures that are, that, are, that are taken from their burrows or their nests are relocated elsewhere. But, you know, un, unpublicized research indicates that most of that relocated life dies, you know, wherever it's been put down. So their sterility is left behind in any case. And the turbines, when they're in action, harvest millions of birds that fly into them and through them. Solar farms are, are equally as hostile to life. Wind turbines are hugely demanding of energy and resources to make them in the first place. Uh, when, they're in their, when they're in place, they're filled with gallons of oils and other lubricants that are the product of fossil fuels by any other name. Solar panels are filthy to make. They use coal uh, in, in, their, in their production process and other fossil fuels besides. And to cut a long story short, without subsidy, without without massive subsidy bribes basically from from nation states bribes. any private company would go would go near the making of either they just wouldn't there would not be profit in it if they were just forced to, to operate in the open market none of them would bother because the returns would be so compromised by the by the by the expense and the inconvenience and all the rest of it and if you look around you know you'll see images online uh, of, uh, of of wind turbine blades uh, come to the end of their life, you know, after 20 years or so, there's nothing can be done with them because of the because of what they're made of. They can't be recycled. Uh, so the, the wind turbines are dis disassembled and buried. They just become the stuff of yet more colossal landfill. Similarly with, with solar panels, which come to the end of their natural lives, there's nothing can be done with them. And then there are images too of, of, the, of the mining that goes on for the necessary rare earth minerals uh, upon which all of these renewable technologies depend. Uh, you, lithium, lithium for, for car batteries and, and batteries for, for, for all of these rechargeables. Cobalt, um, these rare earth minerals and others besides require the kind of invasive strip mining and damage to environments uh, which are equal to or greater than the worst excesses of anything that was done to extract any other any fossil fuels you know the, the damage that is being contemplated in the name of a green agenda it, it, it's it's hypocrisy of an of an obscene level and then you get you get beyond the you get beyond the renewables uh, and and you consider what the, what, the, what the green lobby stand by and watch or, 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 their, or, their, or their cheerleaders profit from. Plastic, plastic in the oceans. Look at the images of plastic in the oceans. You know, there used to be campaigns about, about removing plastic from the ocean, as if that was even possible, because as the, as the plastic breaks down in the ocean, it becomes microplastic, which there's nothing you can do about it. It, it become, it's, it's ingested by fish and other marine life that we then eat. So that all of us walking around today are partly made of ingested plastic. There's a measurable quantity of microplastic in all of our bodies. Um, the whole thing, the, the, the very notion that any of this is clean and green and respects the environment is farcical. And, and it was all it was all cast into a the, the hypocrisy of it was was brutally exposed during COVID. The masks, the the millions, billions, maybe it's even trillions of plasticized masks that people were encouraged to wear, and that were then discarded. So that there are billions of them in landfills, billions of them in the ocean. They'll be there forever. They'll, they'll take centuries to break down, and as they break down, they too will. Uh, will, be, will be ingested by marine life. They will, they will, they will choke the life out of seabirds uh, and other marine life. And no one seems to care about that. All the plastics of the PCR tests and the lateral flow tests and the, and the personal protective equipment, it's all plastic, all just being mass produced at huge profit and then dumped. You know, where was the green lobby then to lament the, the mass production of all that shite? that ended up in the oceans and that will be there for centuries to come. And, you know, when you get to, you, you, we're all encouraged to recycle, you know, putting, separating our plastic and our cardboard and our tin cans and all the rest of it. 90% of plastic 
that we use on a daily basis cannot be recycled. 90% of it, okay? And the rest that can be recycled, it, it too breaks down into microplastics. You know, I know the 10 yeah, but biggest casi recycling minutos. companies in the world made it make 60 billion pound worth of profit each year. The plastics industry that generates the stuff in the first place is worth 800 billion a year. It's about profit. It's about profit. If we really cared about the planet, it wouldn't be this way. We in the UK are the world's fourth biggest producer of plastic waste per head of population. And 50% of that, 50% of the plastic that we produce, which is to say 688,000 tonnes a year is shipped to Turkey and Malaysia, where it piles up in landfills in that part of the world, or it's burned, okay? It's burned, putting pollutants into the atmosphere. And the UK government counts all of that as recycled. When you see the figures for the quantities of plastics that we produce that are recycled, it includes the 688,000 tons that get shipped out to get buried or burned elsewhere. So we're just we're just offshoring our own filth. Uh, and, and yet this we're being told that this is all under the auspices of a green agenda, Agenda 2030. What troubles me most of all, I think, is the hypocrisy. hypocrisy. Ours is a culture of waste. Bueno, algo... It's just waste. We've Al menos el enojo está transmitiéndose a desesperadamente. Every every day, millions of tons of food, edible food, get bulldozed into landfills. You know, and that all of that food is wrapped in plastic, wrapped in cellophane, water. Not even sharing bottles. with the bacteria, ni como para que las bacterias lo coman. Más, más egoísmo imposible. Bueno, y ahora tengo que hacerle la cara un poco más gorda a este. Al menos se rescató un poco la expresión. Ahora vamos a ver si la barba le, le, le rescata un poco el, la personalidad, el, la identidad. Acá me pegué mucho, no importa. No importa, no importa. Bueno, esta con barba blanca. No quiero hacerle mucho para, para no oscurecerla. Y tiene que tener la cara un poco gordita, redonda, así ovalada. Y bueno, la barba más... No me gusta hacer esto de como hacer guías, pero vamos a hacer algo así. No, es, me lo siento, lo siento deshonesto. Ya sé que no es deshonesto, pero qué importa. Y acá un poco de barbas de por aquí. Y aquí, acá entran las barbas. Este era el cachete, entonces acá me debería despegar un poco más. Así. Era la, la, el cheekbone no era la barba, era el cheekbone pero okay. entonces pero acá este sí ya tiene que pegarse por acá vamos a ir ahí ah, esta también está por acá Se está rescatando, gracias señor. A veces uno hace cualquier cosa y no sabe por qué hizo esa línea en la vida, y luego la vida te enseña para qué va a servir esa línea. O a veces simplemente es una porquería, pero bueno, no importa. Pero creo que creo que la lección es. <ríe> Seguirle dando hasta que esa línea tenga sentido Porque ya se dibujó Y no hay más que puedes hacer A ver, vamos a ver Vamos a ver 
Vamos, Neil Oliver. Manifiéstate. Manifiéstate. Bueno, ya hoy. 20 minutos. Ya falta un poco para que termine el video. Pues lo paro, lo paro, lo paro. Y ahí se me da más tiempo. Pero el timer me dice que me quedan 10 minutos. Así que estamos bien, estamos bien. Ven por acá. Bueno, no, no, por acá. Por acá va a ser esto. Entonces, como digo, no me gusta hacer esto. Esto de marcarlas como aproximaciones. Pero ayuda, eso sí, no puedo negar que ayuda. Esto baja por acá y se hace un ondulado por acá. Así. Y esto acá está bien oscuro. Y se abre así. Y todo esto, todo esto que está fuera de la barba, la puedo hacer con. Bueno, me estoy quedando sin tinta, tengo. No quiero cortar a ponerle más tinta por todo el tiempo. Vamos ahí, vamos ahí. Entonces de acá, de acá vamos a ir. Oliver, estás apareciendo. Bueno, vamos a terminar de escuchar el audio. In a world, a Western world dominated by a green agenda, we're not. We've become filthy creatures. Filthy What kind of mindset is that that encourages generations of people to just leave their own mess behind them and walk away from it? it the whole thing is a sham and a farce and an exercise in hubris and hypocrisy. And now totally, we've totally. never been handed this so-called green agenda, and there's nothing green about it. As far as I'm concerned, it's the antithesis of care for the world, love of nature. It's wasteful. It's wasteful what we're being offered. Completely wasteful. There's nothing in the renewables. There's nothing in mass consumerism. There's nothing in mass consumption. There's nothing in shoveling fresh food into landfills. There's nothing about that. That's the harvesting of lithium, the harvesting of cobalt, and the rest. The, 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 and the rest of it, copper. You need something like 18 tons of copper per megawatt of electricity that's, that's carried from wind turbines. Any idea how much copper that is? You know, if you want to replace all, en el of the coal fire, all of the oil fire, all of the, all of the nuclear power stations with, with wind, if, the, you know, the electric cables that have to come from those, that have to come from those, that apparatus, it is it, going to devour. The, the world's rare minerals and, and rare metals. We should be teaching children about nature. We should be teaching children how to, how to care no for the soil, actually how to care for the soil, how to maintain its fertility. We should be teaching children how to grow food. We should be teaching them that food should be grown locally and organically. Totalmente. Not in that suicidally stupid way that was attempted in Sri Lanka. But there are those who know how to grow organically so that people should be focused on, on, on living locally, As eating Vandana locally, gr growing food, raising animals, slaughtering them locally, uh, uh, and, and, and living upon the, the, the food that is possible, you know, in the immediate hinterland of where people mm -hmm. live. But, As it turns out, in a few a generations, we have been Mama. utterly divorced from the land. We've been utterly divorced from our food so that we've lost the power to make our own food. We have been uneducated. We have been disabled and made incapable so that we're dependent. Henry Kissinger said, control the food and you control the people. Control the energy and you control whole continents. Control the money and you control the world. And that's what's coming. That's what's here. It's all about control. You know, where are we now? Now we're looking at spiking costs of energy, of food this winter. There's going to be catastrophic pain for people because a situation has been engineered whereby they won't be able to heat their homes and they won't be able to feed their families. They're, they're forcing people into an increasingly dependent reality, dependent upon the state, divorced from the land, divorced from all the means to feed and to take care of themselves, as used to be the case for most people no more than, no more than 50, no more than 100 years ago. We were a very different animal. 
and it's happening right before our eyes and we have to waken up and remember that the world, the land, the soil belongs to us, belongs to us, the people. Each and every one of us has a shared stake in planet Earth. And the green agenda that's being pushed, rammed down our throats at the moment is cinco minutos, cinco minutos. It's anti-human, it's inhuman, it's anti-nature. And it doesn't have to be this way. Pausa, pausa. Pausa, pausa para llegar a tiempo con el final del video. Bueno, acá. Un poquito más así, un poquito más acá, acá el pelo largo. Es que no. Ahora me ha salido mucha papada. Tengo que arreglar la papada, tengo que arreglar la papada. Bueno, esto va por ahí. Vamos a poner por ahí. Ya termina, ya termina. En cuatro minutos termino. Do you need a drink? 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 Bueno, se arregló, está mejor, ya más o menos parece ni lóliga. Ya parece ni lóliga. Falta acá oscurecer un poquito. Acá le pongo su botón. Acá le ponemos su, su cosa así. No sé qué. El pelo por acá, el pelo por acá, va por ahí, por ahí, por ahí, por acá. Vamos, 2 minutos 38. Minutos 38. Acá el resto del set. Y a esto ya no importa. El resto del set. Ahí. ¿Sabes qué queda? Bueno, acá tengo que oscurecer un poquito. Acá un poquito de acá también. La, no tiene mucha, a pesar de estar molesto, no se le marca mucho el, el ceño. Entonces, déjame oscurecer esto por acá. ¿Sabes dónde están las lijas? No sé si tenemos lijas. En uno de los cajoncitos puede que haya algo. Ah. Bueno, se arregló, se arregló. Gracias a Dios, se arregló. Y ya aparece Neil Oliver. Y ahorita, en un minuto 19, termina. Y le ponemos el nombre por algún lado. ¿De dónde le ponemos? Neil Oliver by Joy. Y no me acuerdo qué día es hoy. 3791 creo si no me equivoco entonces 3792 debe ser porque no le voy a dar aquí ahí 
Acá le hacemos otra línea así. Acá le hacemos esto acá, una sombrita. Bueno, hasta que suene el timer. Hasta que suene el timer. Claro, deberíamos estar escuchando otra cosa, pero ya ahí quedó. Queda. Yo digo que it is fini. Mm-hmm.